Um, okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the session on formal methods. Uh, so today we will have uh, four presentations. I think all the present uh, the presenters are there ready to give the interesting talks. So for the first presentation, I think we have uh, uh, Ismail. So are you here? Yes. Hi. Hi, hello. Uh, so I will pass the uh, presentation to Ismail so you can share your slides with us. Okay. Can you see the presentation? Uh, yes. Good. So you can start. Welcome everyone. My name is Ismail Mandil and I am a PhD student at uh, ERIT and this is my presentation for AppSec 2020. I will be talking about a new framework uh, for formal development and analysis of critical interactive systems. Before going into the presentation of the framework itself, uh, let me get you familiar with some context and background so you can appreciate our work. First, what are interactive systems? They are a subclass of reactive systems that allow humans as users to interact and dialogue with a machine. So they are a subpart of a whole system that collect input and render output to the user. Well, critical interactive systems, on the other hand, are uh, interactive systems that require a high level of confidence and safety. On this slide, you can see some examples of application of interactive systems like in aeronautics and medical field, but also in many industries like in automobile industry. Established development processes of interactive systems de heavily depends on design expertise and they use extensively informal requirements. So uh, a modeler or designer would translate informal requirements into diagrams, mockups and models then soft software engineers would uh, code uh, the application and go through the testing. Well, this uh, development processes have many advantages, but, on the, but they also features many pitfalls, especially they allow uh, bad designs uh, to, to, to go undetected until the testing phase. Well, uh, and this may cause many dangerous situations. For example, the, the Rio Paris flight crash uh, in 2009 was due uh, to a design issue in the interface of a flight director according to the BEA report of 2014. Moreover, uh, critical interactive systems are becoming more complex and ubiquitous. Uh, uh, fortunately, uh, formal modeling methods are used in this uh, development processes. However, they uh, lack of domain knowledge integrations. This is motivates our proposition, by, uh, which is a formal uh, framework, uh, which relies on formal specifications and uh, use a new uh, defined uh, modeling language called Fluid. And it also uses some code generation. Good. Fluid is uh, uh, the pivot language and the F3 Fluid is the framework built around it. And it features, um, and it leverages many other tools and, not and notations uh, through theorem proving and model checking and visualization. And we uh, will be talking about them uh, shortly. Well, I was, from now on, I will stick to this outline. First, the, the fluid modeling language, which is a, a modeling language based on uh, state and transition sem formal semantics. So uh, formal specification is a collection of variables defined in the state clause and 
branch of events which defines the transitions. Also, it allows the, uh, the use of tags and we distinguish two categories of tags, variable tags and event tags. Uh, moreover, it allowed to define some uh, interactive systems uh, demanded features like scenarios. Uh, here, we distinguish also two types of scenarios, the nominal, which represents the desired behavior uh, of the system, and the system has to support these uh, scenarios, and the nominal ones, which uh, uh, represent the scenarios that the system has to reject. Well, uh, as I said, a free fluid is the model uh, is the framework that is built around the, uh, the fluid uh, model. So the the designer would uh, would would uh, specify some system in fluid uh, language, and through transformation, it uh, he or she would uh, translate it into event B uh, uh, for verification, and uh, then to pro B and echo for validation, and the feedback would. Uh, uh, would help the, to improve the uh, specification. Other uh, translate, transformations are also ongoing work like translation from fluid to electron. Oops. Of course, uh, one uh, cannot expect to produce the specification in one shot. However, the development uh, would um, so would resemble to this. So we, uh, we defined the enrichment operation, which is um, based on the refinement operation of event B. And uh, this allowed to the incremental and progressive development of uh, uh, models in fluid modeling language. Also, uh, for validation purposes, uh, ProB and ECO is used. For example, ECO is uh, used for uh, the validation of usability properties since it allows to connect uh, presentation to uh, the eco model. Well, another part which is very important uh, besides fluid in the F3 fluid framework is event B. Event B is a state based uh, uh, and refinement uh, based formal method. It, it is grounded on uh, set theory and first order, order logic. And uh, uh, typically, uh, an event B model is uh, defined through two main components, the context, which is uh, used to uh, define the static part and machine, which is used to describe the behavior or the dynamic part of a system. And the, the verification process is supported through a proof obligation discharging. Here we can see some examples of proof obligation which are uh, generated. And, uh, by Rodan, which is the uh, Eclipse-based associated IDE. Well, uh, also, we use Proby and ECU uh, with its uh, IDE uh, pet shop for the validation. Proby is a model checker and animator for B and event B uh, methods, and it is based on constraints uh, and symbolic checking, and it allows test uh, case generation. Uh, we will use it uh, especially for the validation of scenarios. ECO, and on the other hand, uh, allows us to validate usability uh, properties which uh, involve the user. Uh, we, it is a notation based on object PeterNet and uh, it has a very nice feature since it allows to uh, connect presentation written uh, uh, generally in swing uh, with the, the model. Pet shop is the ID used for the development of the model and the, the analysis of them. Well, to, uh, to uh, showcase and demonstrate the efficiency of our framework, we will use the TCAS case study. Well, TCAS is uh, an embedded system uh, on the aircraft that uh, it is used for uh, avoidance of collision in the air. Uh, it uh, allows many functionalities like tracking, traffic advisory, threat detection, but also oral annunciation. At the left of the slide, uh, the top one, for example, uh, shows the very important concept, which is the protection volume, which is the part of space around the aircraft where an aircraft can be detected and sensed by uh, the TCAS. Good. Uh, on, the, on the bottom, we see what the pilot actually see, uh, sees. 
Uh, here, for example, we can say there is three, uh, uh, excuse me, four uh, aircraft which are displayed, uh, and uh, among them there is a threat. Uh, also, very important feature that we have this uh, two strip, the red one, which uh, indicates the vertical speeds that are prohibited, and the green one, which uh, is the speed that is recommended. For the modeling purposes, we will need this def the, these definitions and uh, requirements to understand the models. First, the protective volume, as I said, is the, the part of space around the aircraft, good. And in the range, out range aircraft are a partition uh, co composed of two blocks. The in range is the, the aircrafts that the, the pilot uh, wants to, to see and the outage are the aircraft outside. So the pilot has the ability to change the range as uh, she or he wills. Good. Critical interactive, uh, 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 critical aircraft are aircrafts that are uh, in some layers of the protected volume, which are collision area, uh, warning area, and uh, cushion area. Uh, of course, uh, the, the protected volume is composed of four uh, layers which are uh, from the inner to, out, to, to the outer, collision, warning, caution, and surveillance areas. Good. For the display purposes, we, need, we will need three concepts, the hidden aircraft, the display grid, and the display edge. For the hidden aircraft, as uh, the, the name says, is the aircraft that are detected, sensed, but are not visible or displayed to the pilot. Displayed grid are the central part of the display and the each uh, display is the border of the display used for uh, displaying uh, critical aircrafts in some cases that I will detail. Good. For the functional requirement, we have the detection of the aircraft, which is obvious. And then we have the ability to change the range. So the pilot can uh, change the range as uh, she or he wills. Also, uh, for the safety requirements here, we have the separation of the protected volume, which says that the layers are disjoint sets. And uh, the second says that the critical aircraft must be always visible. And everyone can understand why. So for the development of our, our models, we uh, stick to this uh, modeling strategy. Uh, we the first develop the high level uh, view, uh, the high level view of the the, the TCAS, which allows us to integrate and express the logical requirements and functional requirements. Uh, however, the, the low level allows us to express usability uh, properties for the usability uh, purposes. The high level uh, modeling corresponds roughly to the designer view of the, the system and low level a modeling corresponds to the user view. So, so now I will show you some extracts of the models that we developed uh, in uh, using our F3 fluid uh, framework and fluid language. So here we see the two uh, first uh, levels of the development, the zeroth and the first, uh, first refinement. Uh, in the first model, we just interested in the detection uh, of the aircrafts. Uh, so we have a variable, which is a set of aircraft and two e events the, for detecting and losing. Uh, when we, uh, the aircraft gets fa far enough to not be detected. Uh, when we refine the, the, the aircraft variable, uh, the machine in generally will um, inter we will introduce the layers here. For example, collision area, the warning area, etc. And also, we refine uh, consequently the, uh, the the event in the abstract machine. Uh, of course, there are many levels, and here I show the last one or the the fifth model, uh, where we introduce the graphical and the visual properties where we uh, define the, the field red square, which represent a threat, for example, or uh, the field, the yellow circle set, which represent the intruders. 
And we also uh, express the visual properties. For example, the properties when uh, expressed that every critical aircraft must be visible is expressed here. For uh, we, here, the critical aircrafts are in the caution, warning, and collision area. For verification purposes and validation, we use uh, other methods. For the verification, we'll use uh, event B, which uh, after the uh, automatic translation of fluid models to event B models, where uh, the properties, uh, first order logic properties are uh, converted into invariants, and uh, they are uh, verified through proof obligation discharging. And the scenarios and LTL properties are uh, validated uh, and model checked by Proby. So we uh, search for counter example or the absence of counter examples, and uh, uh, we checked for dead deadlock freeness. And we also uh, validated the scenarios, nominal ones and non-nominal ones. Here we, we can see an example of a NICO model. And uh, in reality, the, we produced three uh, eco models. And here we are the, the, the eco model that represents the range changing uh, functionality. We, and we represent it, and every cases are, uh, of course, uh, covered. We have uh, the detecting uh, an aircraft uh, in range or out range and uh, the losing counterparts. Uh, and here we, of course, uh, validated usability uh, properties. For the statistics of verification and validation purpose, um, uh, process. As uh, we can see, the most the, of the proof obligations are automatically approved, although uh, despite the fact that the translation was, automat uh, was automatic. So uh, here in total, we have 70% of the proof obligation, which were automatically proved. And we, here we have some uh, stats about states and uh, transition uh, of the model checking in the probing. To conclude, I would say that uh, f uh, fluid modeling language allows uh, allows us to express uh, uh, interactive system features and uh, it, it plays a central role in the F3 fluid framework. And also it supports uh, mini transformation into uh, formal methods like event B and uh, uh, electron, uh, et cetera. Also, uh, we showed uh, TCAS demonstrates the efficiency of the framework where we advised a, a correct by construction uh, approach and we verified all the properties, whether um, uh, uh, first order requirements or uh, the scenarios. And uh, we used Proby and ECO to validate uh, the, the scenarios. Uh, in the future, uh, we plan to develop uh, more uh, the tag uh, system through the theories to handle more um, domain uh, HMI domain features. For example, we would like to express uh, properties like uh, input must be followed by confirmation using the, the tag and get uh, the, the proving uh, done uh, automat generated automatically. Also, we uh, plan to enrich the transfer, uh, translation from fluid uh, to event B after the enrichment of the, the tag system. Uh, moreover, we, we would like to uh, improve the quality of the produced echo through uh, taking into account the composition and decomposition. And uh, to other transformation from fluid to uh, electron or alloy are an uh, ongoing work. Uh, thank you for your attention and uh, feel free to ask your, your questions. Uh, sure. Let, let's see whether we have some questions from the audience. So, can I ask one actually? Gwen Salan speaking. Can I ask one question? Sure. Uh, okay. Actually, I, I I can understand I can understand why you're using model checking and probe, but I don't understand why you are using a transformation to petri nets. I mean, from a verification perspective. You mentioned usability properties. What, what kind of properties are you using? Are you do you plan to verify using this Petri nets encoding? 
for for example, uh, we would like to express something like every uh, aircraft are on are uh, visible on the the real HMI, so the user can um, um, verify it and uh, we could uh, uh, validate it. And uh, Eco has this uh, nice feature to allow to. Uh, connect some presentation written in Swing, for example, with the, the model, so we can animate it and uh, visual, uh, visual, visualize the interface, actually. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, any other questions? Uh, so, I actually, I uh, I'm curious about what are the unique challenges of uh, formal analysis for such interactive system compared to some non-interactive system. Uh, precisely the integration of knowledge of uh, interactive systems, uh, which uh, involve uh, the human, uh, as we call it, the human in the loop, is the major challenge. So to formalize the, the knowledge uh, around HMIs, is quite uh, challenging, uh, in fact. And this integration, uh, I think, is the, the most uh, challenging one. Thank you. Uh, so uh, thanks, uh, Ismail, again, so for the talk. Uh, if there is no more questions, we will move on to the second presentation. Uh, I think we have to wait uh, to present the work uh, on formal verification of a memory isolation for the trusted execution environment. So, Yuwei, are you there? Uh, so, okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my paper is formal verification of memory isolation for the trust zone based TE. First of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Ma Yuwei from Capital Normal University. Then I will introduce my paper from four parts. Um, embedded devices are widely used in various fields of production and life, such as industrial control systems, electronic uh, medical device, device, internet of things, nodes, smartphones, and so on. The value of stored data is raising such as use passwords, identity information, and interpret data, which attracts more and more attackers. Then, how to improve the security of embedded systems to ensure the confidential confidentiality and integrity of sensitive data? Global platform provides the concept of the TEE, which provides a hardware-based isolated uh, execution environment for the security-sensitive components. ARM Trust Zone is security extensions provided by ARM for its uh, um, processor uh, architecture and uh, provide a TE using hardware technology. Our trust zone is adopted by most device uh, manufacturers, such as Apple, Huawei, and Samsung to protect sensitive data in their products. Uh, the, the isolation um, mechanism of trust zone based TE provided by hardware and software together is the security uh, foundation of code and data in TEE. The hardware needs to 
uh, correctly implement uh, security extensions to isolated uh, extended, uh, extended functions to ensure code isolated execution and protect the Oh, sorry. Uh, the hardware needs to correctly impl implement security extensions to isolate the uh, resource of the secure and the normal words. The TE software needs to correctly implement uh, extended functions to ensure code isolated execution and protect, protect the uh, critical data. So the hardware and software of TE must both be uh, correct. Uh, TE vulnerability, vulnerabilities can be divided into three types. Uh, in recent years, several vulnerabilities of TE have been discovered, such as the vulnerability of creating crossword uh, covered channels by uh, exploiting a uh, what shared cache in trust zone. There is a small amount of research about formal verification of the isolation mechanism of TE systems. Most research uh, plus the security, uh, uh, security for TE software. Uh, some of them take the a correct uh, TE hardware implementations as a as an assumption, while others take a, a merely uh, par partial hard hardware hardware uh, components into account into account like uh, the memory. On the other hand, uh, some research very verify the correctness for TE hardware, uh, whose purpose is to design new uh, verifiable hardware, and it is generally not uh, properly publicable to the hardware already published. In this paper, we present a formal verification um, proponent approach for the memory isolation mechanism of trust zone based TE. Memory, isolate, uh, memory isolation is a major uh, mechanism which configures memory region as secure or non-secure and rejects non-secure uh, tra uh, transactions to a region that is configured as secure. We focus on verifying the uh, security uh, properties of the memory isolation mechanism of TE to ensure secure memory is uh, cracker, crack, uh, correctly isolated. Uh, we, step, we establish a formal model of memory for TE, including critical hardware and software, formally define the uh, correctness and security um, properties of the model. Um, since there is some network issue, we can wait. So, okay, um, I think maybe we, uh, we wait for one minute and see whether we can get online. And also, uh, maybe Wen Bo can 
make some preparation for the next presentation. Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, so it's great. Uh, okay, I think you can continue with the presentation. Uh, Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My paper uh, is from a... Uh, uh, so maybe you share the screen uh, about the slides. I'm uh, sorry. I don't sorry. listen. I can't listen. Uh, so can you hear me? Uh, okay. Okay. So I think maybe you can share the slides. Now we, we, we can now see your screen. Hello, Yui. So you, you, you share the, the, the slides with us. You can click the share screen so you can we can see the slides on your computer. Okay, I begin. You can continue from where you lost the connection. Uh, my paper is uh, formal verification of uh, memory isolation for the trust zone based TE. Uh, first of all, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Ma Yuwei, come from Capital Normal University. Uh, sorry, Yuwei. Uh, 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 so, I think you can speak Chinese. Yes, yes. 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 Yes, 然后刚刚我们应该是继续到了，嗯、呃，你看一下第这个，呃 ，OK， 呃、uh, ，We will introduce the memory isolation. Mechanism of ARM trust zone. Uh, trust zone divides an embedded system into two domains, a normal world and circular world. The monitor uh, management uh, manages the switches between two worlds. MMU controls the memory access permission and the address mapping. Uh, TZSC provides access control for memory. Um, before an overall introduction of the model, we describe the, mo the modeling approach. First, we model the software and hardware states associated with memory uh, management as the system execution, uh, execution states. Second, we model memory oper uh, operations and uh, software operations. As execution events, 
Uh, in addition, the access control, C control function of TZSC for memory is modeled in each ordinary memory operation. In order to verify the information for the security of the model, we provide the consequence of domain and the observation uh, equivalence. Uh, our model is represented as M. S represent, represents the system states and include uh, registers, memory, and memory access permission. A is a set of events include word switch, memory read, memory read, memory region create, memory region delete. O is observation uh, equivalence. Uh, we model the domain as this function. The domain has three rulers in our model. Uh, the domain used in system execution models, the value of NSB2 in secure configuration, uh, configuration register. It can be used to represent the system uh, uh, excuse in REE or TE. The domain used in memory models the security permission field of the memory region and represent, represents the memory region is secure or non-secure. The domain used in the address mapping models, models and additional address bit and can be used to represent that an address belongs to the secure world or the normal world. The function of the MMU is modeled as a function mapping. Uh, the virtual address is modeled as VADDR, and the physical address is modeled as PADDR. The memory, as a, the memory isolation mechanism needs to um, guarantee two things. One is that a normal a uh, virtual address cannot map to a secure physical address. Other is that the memory uh, isolation mechanism should reject non-secure uh, transactions to a secure region. In our model, we ensure this by comparing the domain of system execution, executing and the domain of the virtual address. Um, then I will introduce the state basic system execution, including the concepts of system execution and state re uh, reachability. The execution of events can be represented by state translation from a state to a new state. And uh, uh, any state obtained after executing events from the Initial state as zero is reachable. Uh, next, we introduce two key concepts for the uh, information flow security, state equivalence and uh, observation equivalence. The state equivalence means if the different states S and T have the same memory in domain D and the, and the execution environment of the uh, process in two states is same. The obs observation equivalence means the new state after uh, executing event uh, sequence AS from state S and the new state after executing event Sequence BS from state T are equivalent, are state equivalent uh, for domain D. Um, the, secu the security proper properties of the memory model we defined include the correctness and the information flow security. The um, Correct, the correctness include, includes the 
uh, correctness of address mapping and the correctness of memory operations. The correctness of address mapping including two lemmas. Why is the physical address mapped from the virtual address cannot overflow? Other is that a normal virtual address cannot be mapped to a circular physical address. And the, the correctness of memory operations means all memory operations are correct. Uh, the information flow security properties of the model, including no, inter no, interfer uh, no interference, no leakage, and no influence. Um, due to time constraints, we will not give a detailed introduction. Um, the trust zone memory model and the security properties are defined and proved in Isabel Hall. We, ver we verify the correctness used about uh, 18 lemmas. The proof uh, method of information flow security uh, properties uh, is using the Avidium their name. Uh, all numbers and their names are proved successfully. Our memory models uh, satis satisfies the correctness and the information flow security properties. Next, I will uh, summarize our work. We present a formal memory model and show the Definition, uh, definitions and proofs of it is uh, correctness and the information flow security um, properties in Isabel Hall. There are no covered channels during the execution of this term, and the secure memory is not uh, accessible by the normal world. The memory model can further by extended to the verification of other TE system and the enclave programs. Then we will refine the ARM trust zone memory model in future work. Uh, first, uh, we will consider adding the details of uh, translation tables and implement uh, the mapping with multi view translation tables. Second, we will consider adding TRB and the cache policies. Finally, we will verify the um, correctness of the MMU and the security of the isolation mechanism based on the improved model. Uh, thanks. Okay, let's see whether we have any questions from the audience. So let's see whether we have any questions from the audience. Uh, okay, I think maybe in one slide you mentioned the list of related work, and also you mentioned some difference that you consider both software and hardware in your uh, analysis. So, are there any extra properties that you can verify uh, with your framework than the related work? Uh, yes. Uh, so maybe you can show us the slides with the uh, related work where you show the. Uh. Yes. Uh Or you verify uh, the 
Okay, you can go on. 就是 most researcher prove the security for T software, um, and other, but others 就是 some research verify the, uh, correctness for T hardware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, so okay, I uh okay, thank thanks uh you wait for the talk. Uh, so if we do not have any other questions, we move on to uh, the next one, which will be presented by Wen Bo, uh, Colored Patronized Based Attack Tolerance Framework. So Wen Bo, are you there? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, so okay. I think you can start. And thanks for the session, Chair Sony. Uh, hello, everyone. I, I am Wenbo Zhou, come from Jinning University and uh, University of Paris, Saxony. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to share our work. In this presentation, we bring a research, a research about a colored patronite based attack tolerance framework. I would introduce it from the following aspects including introduction, framework, case study, and conclusions. Reliability and security are always hot and vital topics in software engineering. Recently, a tag tolerance has been highlighted as a significant property. A tag tolerance means the ability to maintain continuity of a system when attacks occur. Most of the existing work focuses on the applications with empirical methods. For example, leveraging software diversity and the reflection technique. There is a lack of formal foundation for better understanding attack tolerance. Inspired from formal methods, a more generic attack tolerance framework is worth exploring. In this paper, we propose a colored patronite based framework for attack tolerance. In such a framework, a system is modeled as a CPN called the original net with detectors, and uh, an attack is, is also a CPN called the attack net, together denoted as OA net. After the identification of an attack, a tolerance net is deployed on the OA net, making the final AT net tolerate the attack and work correctly. The formal method used in the framework is colored patch net. Colored Petronite combines Petronite with a programming language to obtain a scalable modeling language for concurrent systems. We choose CPN to model because it has good expressivity, easy simulation, and the possibility to form more verification of properties. The figure is a CPN example. Except the normal elements in Petronite marked in blue, Colored Petronet assigns a color to each token. Actually, the, to the color has the same meaning of type. In this example, there are six tokens in place P1 and one token in place P2. All the tokens have the type of integer. When a token satisfies the guard of a, a transaction, it may be chosen to bound to the variable on, on the input arc and the expression and output arc will be calculated. Finally, a new token will be produced. The above process is called firing. Let's see how it happens. The top figure shows the state before firing. In this, in this situation, we assume that the token file is chosen randomly. Since it is bigger than two, this transaction is enabled file is bigger than four. So finally, a token six will be produced in place P2 as shown in the bottom figure. The online approach is targeted, but not realized yet in our current work. 
First, our, uh, first, our original system is equipped with detectors. Then a uh, detect intrudes into the system. Next, the detect is detected online by detectors and then identified according to a uh, detect pattern library. Finally, according to the identification, a tolerance solution is built online by assembling blocks of tolerance solutions from a pre-built library. The result is that the attack tolerance system can tolerate the attack. In this paper, we accomplish the simulation-based approach relying on CPN modeling and the CPN tools. As we can see, we use ONET, ANET, TNET, OANET, and OATNET to model the original, original system, predefined attack tolerance solution, attack system, and the tight tolerance system, respectively. The, pro the process is similar to the online approach. Different from the practice, different from the practice way, we start to consider this problem from the perspective of formal construction, especially the structure of petrol nets. We use different colors to denote different nets, black for the original net green for detectors, red for attack, and blue for attack the, attack to, the tolerance net. Also, some mixed colored notation are used to omit mentioned parts. As you can see, we list all the possible types about basic units. A basic unit cons consists of one place, one arc, and one transition. Each of these belongs to O net or A net. Thus, there are 16 cases. Number, number two, three, six, and seven are the focused patterns, which will be introduced later. Number one, five, 10 to 12, and 14 to 16 are the meaningless cases, since both the place and the transition belong to the same night, but not the arc. Number nine and 13 are the internal behavior of the original night. Number four and eight are the internal behavior of the attack net. Let's see what the attack network interaction patterns are. The first one is blocking. Blocking is a behavior that blocks the process execution and controls when it can be continued. As we can see, place PB of the attack net blocks transition TX of the original net. The second pattern is leakage. Leakage refers to a behavior that discloses some important information to attackers unintentionally. In the figure, token OX flows to the attack net without attention of the original net. The third one is stealing. Stealing means attackers take entities away without the permission of the system and keep it. Different from leakage, Token OS doesn't exist in the original net anymore because it has been taken away. The fourth pattern is injection. Injection is a way used by attackers to put some modified entities using malicious into a system. These entities can coordinate attackers to extract information and interfere with the system. The figure shows the token OE is injected into the original net. Besides the four basic patterns, more complex attacks can be composite from them. We give two simple examples here. They both come from the composition of stealing and injection. The first one is copy. Uh, this pattern means a token will be, cop will be copied to the attack net. The second one is modification. However, different from copy, the token is modified before being put back. Then we introduce the attack detectors. For blocking, we give an example about the detect by checking whether the number of tokens in the place exceeds a fixed threshold. In this figure, when the number of tokens in place PX exceeds six, we think that there is a blocking attack and put a token into place PY. Uh, for, stu uh, for stealing, 
in a certain interval as the in example two. We first pick up uh, first bit of token OEX and uh, that enters into the inter interval. Then we check whether the token exists in place PX and uh, PY. If token OEX doesn't exist in any of the places in the interval, we say the stealing occurs. Next, we introduce tolerance solutions. The first one is by passing. When the detector when the detector detects that there is a blocking, it will trigger a new bypassing way. As shown in the figure, the bypassing path is activated by firing another transition TX. The solution for stealing is composition. Uh, it means that when the detector found some lost token, a backup token will be put back to the old net. Now let's discuss a case study. This case study is about cloud-based medical information storage. The original net of such a case is proposed by Dr. Fetch in this paper. And they focus on fault tolerance. We adapted to attack tolerance, namely considering attack network interaction patterns and tolerance solutions. Both the original net and the uh, both the original model and our model are edited and simulated and are edited and simulated using CPN twice. Our attack tolerance model is provided in the in the following link. In this case study, there are mainly four modules, including director, patient, doctor, and the cloud. The direct the director module receives requests and responds to them. The patient or doctor modules read or write record where a patient can only read his own information. A doctor can both read and write record of his patient. The cloud module stores records of patient and and many and manages reading and writing operation. The figure is the, the red figure is the design structure of such a system. We assume, we, we assume there is such a, an attack as shown in the red figure. The attacker carries out the following steps. First, he blocks Dr. Y to read the record of patient C. Then, during the blocking time, he still sees record. Next, he modifies this record and injects it back to the old net. Finally, he canceled blocking, which allows Dr. Y to read an incorrect record. We simulated the old net. The, the green rectangle shows uh, the states of related places. Look at the yellow and the blue rectangles. The correct disease re record should be coronavirus 19 series. However, the attacker changes the record to flu mild by performing blocking, stealing, and injection behavior. The final result is that Dr. Y read the wrong record, leading to incorrect diagnosis and the treatment of patient C. More seriously, this, this may cause death of C due to lack of appropriate treatment. Consider the tolerance solution we mentioned before. To solve blocking, the bypassing solution is added to the reading process of the doctor module, as shown in the left figure. To solve stealing and injection, the compensation solution is added to the file reading and writing processes of the cloud module, as shown in the right figure. After deploying the tolerance solution, the final simulation result is shown. Uh, as we can see in the green part, the Dr. Y can read the correct record and the cloud stops the right record, which means the attack doesn't take effect. The tolerance solution is successful. Finally, we conclude our work. In this research, a CPN-based attack tolerance framework is proposed. Attack network interaction patterns and tolerance solutions are presented. 
A case study about a tolerance in cloud-based medical information storage is discussed. Uh, this is just the first step, and the future work includes uh, verifying equivalent checking that property of all night lost due to attacks are properly restored by deploying tolerance solution without side effect, and uh, designing the automatic tools to identify attacks and deploy solutions according to generic library of basic patterns and solutions. And these are all, all of our future work. Uh, that's all, thanks. Okay, uh, thank you, Wen Wu, for the talk. So, any questions? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. Gwen Salah uh, speaking. Oh, please. Um, just, I have, a, I have a question about uh, tool support, actually, because you mentioned that at the end of the conclusion. Because yeah. I, I would like, I missed in your uh, presentation, you mentioned the framework, but what I missed, and you also mentioned at some point some CPN tools for modeling and some GitHub uh, yes. things, but I would like to, could, could you clarify what is implemented, automated, and what is not, please? Do you have some tool support for automating those checks? Uh, 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 thank, uh, thanks for the question. Uh, we just propose a uh, concept modeling, and uh, this is just uh, a framework about how the attack tolerance happens. Uh, we use the CPN as the tool to modeling this process. Uh, actually, we didn't do any practical work on the real system, it's just a con concept modeling. And this is our next work to try to use this process into a real system. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, okay, thank you. Oh, okay, I, I, I just have a quick question. So uh, please. Uh, for uh, when you show the example of the attack detectors, I think there is a threshold, so do you have any heuristic for deciding which threshold to yes this time? So uh, here you you decide the five at the threshold. Okay, okay. Thanks for the question. Uh, actually, for the threshold, we uh, this is related to the um, specific cases. Uh, in in this in in in, the, in this part, we just uh, propose uh, an example about. Uh, uh, the basic patterns. Actually, how to um, determine the, the threshold, threshold uh, it depends on the specific application. And okay. now we didn't do much research about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so also for the, uh, the okay. attack uh, tolerance, tolerance uh, these detectors, so you will you consider about the performance overhead when you implement them in the real system? Uh, 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 yes, uh, this is just the modeling. Yes, we want to, uh, uh, actually, we want to monitor, monitor the, the, the performance as you said, that maybe in a real system, this can be a, a, a good, uh, uh, this can be a good, uh, um, um, a good measurement for detect uh, attack. So in, in this framework, we just uh, describe uh, some concepts about this. Okay, sure. sure. And, uh, and propose some example about a uh, uh, possible way to deal with this. Okay, okay. So thanks again, Wenbo, for the interesting Okay. Question. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think now we can move on to our last talk. Uh, is model checking of spatial logic? I think the presenter is Tongfei. So Tongfei. Yes. Okay. So I, I think uh, once you're ready, we, you, you can start. Uh, let me show how to share this. Uh, I uh, think you are granted the permission to share screen with us. Uh, 
Promise. Uh, you can have, uh, so if you use the, the Chinese version, I think it's Gong Xiang Ping Mu. If you use oh, the yeah. English version, it's Xiao Gui. Uh, I'm using the mic, uh, the mic uh, operating system. So uh, I'm okay, to... so you, you can try to find any share screen or Gong Xiang Ping Mu, then you can share your slides with us. So after you click the button, it will let you to choose uh, which uh, screen to share. Uh, mm. So you can uh, first thing, can you find the button? Maybe yeah, share yeah, screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, when I click the share, there's no the my slides here. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Or you can choose the desktop, the draw me, then you yeah. can okay. you can yes, this is yeah. the yes. Okay, you can start. Okay, okay, thank you. Very good afternoon, everyone. Mm, uh, my name is uh, Tang Fei Li, and uh, my topic is model checking of the spiritual logic. Um, so first, I will uh, give the uh, give the challenge of the uh, spiritual logic to specification the spiritual properties. Uh, so now nowadays there are many uh, spiritual uh, logics, but the uh, all of them is cannot uh, specify the evolution of the special uh, uh, <laughs> properties, and also there is no uh, tools to check in special properties. So uh, now we are trying to, uh, uh, you know, I'll, maybe maybe everybody knows model checking, right? Uh, model checking means that uh, we have the model and have the properties. Uh, we check the, the models, uh, whether the, the model satisfies the properties. So we will, so we have the model and the properties. Now uh, I will give the model. At first, I give the uh, topological space. Uh, a, a, large, a, a topological space is uh, defined with the it is arrow, and with the x x is a sparse sparse side. Uh, the, the side can be the the point and. Uh, uh, as points the region, and also we we, we depend the grid uh, the grid, and another is uh, operator uh, means interval interval is on the uh, the side. Uh, so after that we keep, we give the model the model is with the the space and the value the value that means that uh, uh, a special valuable on the on the side uh, we have the the value. Uh, this is the example for the topological space. Uh, the left the line is the uh, uh, we can see the for the for space uh, the the blue line the blue line is the interval and the red the red border the red border is the space of the closure it's, uh, so we have the two operators the closure and the interval and the interior uh, the left one is uh, we define the subset uh, subset is uh, based on the topological space so we're reading a right, the red right is that is the middle of uh, the green and the blue. Uh, you can see the points or the uh, well, generally we, we will see the special terms, and uh, the blue the blue readings is the middle of the the yellow and the original special the original special uh, terms, and the red is the uh, universal the space. Uh, that means all the uh, special terms is belong to the. Uh, the right readings. Uh, next uh, example is uh, it, it's made of the uh, this grid. You see, grid that means uh, it's just like graph because we have the the point and the, the edge. The edge connect uh, uh, to uh, two points. Uh, so uh, next we give the we it it has the it has the uh, topological space. Uh, that is the uh, matrix space. Matrix space uh, uh, is uh, defines the 
the metric between the points. Uh, that means it depends, it, it's made of the distance. So distance, uh, uh, distance means that uh, if uh, it's, uh, if, uh, if one point, if two point uh, uh, have the, the distance is uh, uh, equal to the uh, symmetry uh, of the, and next is the topological, uh, top matrix space. Top matrix space is uh, uh, based on the, the, the distance and the interval distance uh, is made of the inter is the interior operate on the x uh, that is the side. Uh, we give the definition of the interval distance. Uh, that means if one point belong to the uh, uh, belong to the 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 sport the special terms, the so we have the, we have for, for uh, the a since a uh, that a that means the distance uh, is larger than zero. We have the for each y and uh, the distance between x and y is uh, is less than a. So we can but we can have y is belong to uh, the side. Uh, the uh, the model that is we have the the value. For, for the points or, or, or one point or reading and that. Uh, so next I will give the example for the topmatic top space. Um, the left one is left is uh, reading, uh, the right reading is, uh, uh, is it, the right reading inside means uh, uh, is, it, it, we just say, say the, the normal reading and the in, uh, the interval the y the y the y spectral term is uh, x x uh, uh, spectral term is belong to the right y, and for each the, the z, uh, z z is belong to the border of the uh, of, of, of the of the uh, right radius. So so there's no uh, the, there, the so. So the right, so the right, the right of spectral readings uh, then satisfies the condition because uh, the the distance cannot be a negative number, right? And the right is uh, we give the uh, the width to the graph to the uh, is introduced in the topological space. So it is a it's kind of the top topological space. And that's it's the the great bits the topological space in the uh, I'm sorry yes uh, <laughs> so there there is false uh, false situation and and uh, and the separating the uh, CN is the interval of the blue and the the border the border of the is is marked with red right the border. Each of the border is the macro right, and uh, so so we can see in the uh, on the upper right uh, the interval space in blue is, is empty because we cannot find a space a point in the interval blue, so it, so it's very uh, so it's uh, uh, obviously uh, so next we give the give the spatial logic so I uh, for spatial logic we based on the very a popular uh, uh it's named as for you as for you it's defined with uh, uh I'm, I'm sorry for the, the frame title uh <clears throat> it's based on the spectral terms and the spectral formula uh, a spectral term is the uh, for the spectral terms the p is the autumn spectral term is the for first we, we defend the spectral term is based on the, the the point of the reading and the grid, and then we define the uh, complementary of the spectral terms and uh, define the inter uh, intersection and the uni, uh, uni and the inter uh, interior and the closure of the, uh, the spectral terms. Uh, Based the spectral terms, we define the spectral formula. Uh, for uh, one formula is the a universal, universal operator. The universal operator that means uh, all the points, all the all all the uh, special terms is belong to the tor. Uh, based on the, so uh, 
based on the uh, universal uh, universal operator, we define the uh, subset and also the uh, uh, universal operator. And then we define the the the, the boolean operator, the negative and the conjunction and disjunction. Uh, so we give we give the semantics. The semantics. Uh, the, the terms. The term uh, satisfaction relation is based on the we give the model the location uh, the, and uh, and the spare terms. The uh, basic is the terms uh, satisfaction relation is based on the the is a uh, the model at the location satisfied uh, the spare terms. And so uh, for the for the H for the for H the spare terms we can clearly get the the uh, the, the, the formula uh, the, the semantics. Mm, so, mm, and then for the for formula for formula satisfaction in uh, relations uh, is similar is similar but today it's uh, it's just satisfy uh, with the is with the formula. So we def so we make the difference with uh, a, a t that means the term and uh, for the formula we make nothing uh, in the uh, uh, in in operators. So this is the examples for the uh, formulas. So in the left, the there's this three readings right. Uh, the, the red and the blue and the green readings. The readings for the green, uh, for readings we can get the blue and the, uh, the intersection blue and the green belongs to the, the subset of the red. And then uh, for each, uh, for each is the point uh, green that is belong to uh, the green red. Uh, the red is the, is the red, red is the, uh, the Act, uh, it's actual examples so based on the uh, the twin control systems. There's there's two uh, breaker breaking mode breaking mode. Uh, the, norm, the normal breaking mode and the emergent uh, breaking mode. Uh, for each of them, we use the top MB and the top AB. Uh, denotes uh, about that, and uh, so. We use the we use the in uh, the complement complementary of the terms that means the both the the universal the such uh, uh, minus uh, one for the uh, the terms. Uh, so at last we get the for emergency breaking uh, distance and uh, the union of the both of them is equals the. Uh, equals to the, 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 the universe of the uh, uh, special. Uh, so we, we, based on the model, based on the automatic model and, uh, and, and the spare terms, we give the, um, we give the model checking algorithm. Uh, the, it, it is very clear because I, for each is the for each P, uh, in, we defend the, uh, we define set, a uh, set, and a region, and uh, uh, the grid. Mm, in our implementation, we uh, we create P as uh, as uh, as uh, the basic uh, special terms, so we can give them all. So we can give the value. Uh, so if if we have the uh, the all term special terms is uh, the most important uh, because we have to build the uh, the we have built built the uh, the data, the data structures uh, for each, for for the points we have the uh, uh, there there are two there are two ways to defend them uh, one is uh, we defend with uh, just like x y and uh, all the in the three uh, dimension uh, and also we have the we have the value of the of the uh, the points. Uh, also, we define uh, define the point set to uh, the to point set to store the region. For region, we define the, the, the a circle and a rectangle uh, because it, it because uh, the the regular uh, the regular shape 
it's, uh, it's easy to build. Uh, for circle, we have the four points, the left, uh, the right, and the upper and the, the, the bottom to, to start. It's very easy to start to start the uh, space, the special terms. Uh, so I will space, I will skip the, the polling. Um, another is that it, it, it's a site, uh, it's hard to uh, check in the formula for formulas. The formulas uh, for the basic is a formula that is universal, universal for each uh, particular uh, L, for each uh, L belongs to the, the site. L is uh, the, the value, the value L is belong to the the the, the tor. So uh, for for subset tor one is a subset of tor two. We can have the uh, the value of tor one is uh, is less than uh, the value of tor two. And, uh, for the it's clear for the uh, boolean operator. Uh, after that, we, oh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry for that because we, uh, this, this argument is not, we update uh, the T, right? Okay. Um, uh, this, uh, so this is the, the first tree for the for formula. We have the, uh, uh, for this, if in the tree, the lift is, uh, the lift is uh, bottom, uh, spare terms and uh, for the for other for the other uh, nodes is uh, uh, is based on the auto it's based on the operator and also the uh, autumn term special terms it's very clear right? uh, yeah it's, it's the blue is uh, means the b and uh, the green is uh, is g So next we will extend the, the uh, as for you. We built uh, a tent block uh, as for you with the near and the interior uh, operator. Uh, uh, so so the near so the neighbor or near the operator that means uh, uh, it's, it, it returns the neighbor of the uh, the points tall. Uh, a tall times it is in the uh, Bottom space, so we depend them with, with the four four neighbors. Uh, in the the semantics is depend with the for each uh, for each L is uh, um so we 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 depend the we we depend the operator that means uh, this L is uh, uh is is in the left of or in the left or less than the L. The, the L. So that means uh, M and in the super in the super of the the super rim of the L one is uh, satisfy tall, and uh, for each the for each uh, for each R two uh, that is on the right or or is larger than the L that is uh, we, uh, we take the interfere of the L two uh, for the universal. Universal, uh, for the interior, interior operator that if we define the uh, interval d1 and d2 uh, to bonding, bonding with the, you, you, the, the interior operator. Uh, for each L, it's belong to the d1 and d2. We have the, uh, so, we, so we first have the right, the, we, we, we take the right point, uh, the right value. We, we have the L1 is the, uh, the model at that one is satisfy the tau two, and then we have the, the we have the L uh, two prime 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 is belong to the D one is to uh, to L prime. Uh, in the so I will oh, I'm at the L L two prime is uh, satisfy satisfies uh, L one. Uh, this is a uh, uh, this is a uh, example to uh, to give the uh, to, uh, to to uh, to in, to in, illustrate the uh, new operator near and border. So the near that is uh, yeah 
the, the nearest uh, with the, the with the blue with the with the blue point and the the boundary with the uh, the eight with eight points of the uh, the point. And for the for the end for end we have the um, so in, in the graph uh, in the graph the the blue points. Uh, we, we can get uh, satisfy uh, the satisfy the spare terms of the blue and the into thin uh, within within one or two uh, distance. The dark blue points satisfy satisfy the formula. Yeah. So right, you can one, two, uh, three, right? Yeah, uh, this uh, is, is clear. Uh, for for the algorithm, we have the so uh, first we have so first the, the, if if we if we know the if we know if we know the interior operator the semantics of interior operator we can it's very clear so first we have the we take the v uh, to store to store the value of the uh, satisfies uh, satisfaction value of the model in uh, satisfy tall one and uh, W is a store tall two. Another, another way uh, we built the color, uh, color operator to store, uh, the, as, to store the, the union of the V and W to, of the uh, color and the R is uh, initialized the null and uh, we can, um, we can we can uh, transfer the color color set x and the first we build the new operator as the the as the the union of the v and the, the prior of uh, x and then we will remove the re, re, remove the new points uh, in the in, in the in the its left set to be and then we will remove the right set as a uh, in the tall two, uh, in 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 the new new point set, and uh, we we take the we, up, we update R with the uh, with the union of the R and the, the new set. Um, after that, we will we would uh, we we'll evaluate the R to the closure of the the closure set, and at last that we will return V V V returns. Uh, the routines what, what we want mm. so we give the, uh, the kids started to uh, for, for for our methods um for we give the top like uh top metric model and uh, uh and uh oh i'm sorry uh, for the for formulas we will retain all the points in x satisfy uh, the file and so uh, first uh, we will so we first we will search the name of the salt point um, with a C with a color of the C and uh, uh, retains the, you can see the, the blue points and then we can re we can search the graph with the spectral terms uh, with the spectral terms the blue and to right uh, within one or one point one hundred. Uh, it, it, yeah, uh, if if the dance retains sparse I mean, uh, connects uh, the swap salt point the type points, you can uh, it, enlarge the the up bonds. Maybe you can enlarge the one solvent and the and two solvent. Uh, so we, we we give out the implementation in the uh, open op, open source uh, the GitHub. Um, so I will give you. thanks. So any question? Any question from the audience? Uh, 
Oh, okay. Uh, so I uh, actually I'm not quite familiar with this uh uh with with, with this topic. So I want uh so uh so for uh, constructing the model and uh, propose the properties. So all these are your uh, novel contribution. So all these model uh, specification, uh, the logical specification language are proposed in your work. They are novel. Uh, then so I, I'm not sure whether there are any previous were trying to solve this problem? Uh, previous were, uh, mm, so uh, as for you, it's based on the, uh, the mod, the model logic. The model, model logic is, uh, you know, have, you know, so basically we have the properties logic and then we have the, uh, pr uh, the predicate, predicate logics. And uh, if we, if, if it is a, Modality to the uh, predicate logic, so we have the the model logic, the model logic. The model logic is uh, uh, as for you, it's very popular um, model logic. Um, and now it's uh, it, uh, it is the most uh, popular and most uh, uh, powerful model logic. So we choose the uh, as for you uh, because the. Uh, mm, Previous work is um, previous work is uh, they are doing the, um, the uh, thematizations and uh, all the uh, disabilities, but there is no no tools to check in the logic. So now, so based on their their work, so we uh, give the present give the the model checking algorithm, and also we extend the uh, as for you. We named as for UE uh, with the uh, enable and the entry operator to, to to check in the topological to uh, topomatic model and uh, as for you from this. Okay, so thank you. Uh, thanks, Token. again for the talk. Uh, I think we finished all the presentations today. So if you have any other questions, you can contact the presenter presenters or the authors. So thank you all for attending the session. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And also, uh, tomorrow's talk will start with, from 11 uh, UTC plus 8. Okay, okay so thank you. Bye-bye.